You are watching TJ Wee and Baby G. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the little family. Congratulations from Jørn in Denmark. <laughs> Good day, everybody. Got my measuring tape out. Gonna get a few things done here in the shop. I went and uh, ordered my custom decals, or decals, uh, for the truck. I'll tell you about them a little bit later. I'm gonna get a quote uh, for a price for them. I'm guessing in the next couple of days, if not early next week, I'm gonna get old blue across the top of the sleeper on both sides. Uh, in front of the, between the sleeper window and the stack, there's gonna be a YouTube logo with my YouTube name, Trucker Josh Vlogs, in there. Uh, Britt's name is going on the passenger door. My name is going on the driver door. And there's also going to be my award of uh, the decal of one million miles going on the side of the truck as well, which means one million safe miles. I'm well over that now and I'm on my way to two million miles, at which point I'll add that award underneath there as well. Very excited and very happy to uh, to have made that milestone. Yeah, a lot of career ahead of me yet. Who knows, maybe I'll get to the five million mile mark yet. We'll see. We'll start with the one. We got the one, and then we'll go with the two. Anyways, what uh, I'm doing right now is I have this floor tape, and I've been tired of backing into my shop here, crooked. You can see I just swept it out. I'm gonna have to wash the floor yet eventually, but I'm gonna put floor marker tape right along here so that I know exactly where to park my truck and that I know for sure that I'm straight. I mean, now I could just follow the lines from where I parked last, right? But once I wash the floor, which I do as often as I can, it's all just an open cement area, right? We're gonna fix that. Trucker Josh will be straight every single time, first try. This truck will never be parked crooked again. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy with that. So I just got this floor tape off of uh, of Amazon. Check this out, eh? So I got it lined up just inside the drive tires. So that way when I'm backing in here, I can line up those tires right along this line in my mirror and know that the other side is perfectly straight as well. I gotta wash the truck. That's why I got my hose out there and everything. That's the next project. What do you think, Old Blue? You happy with that? And I've also gotten uh, the ball rolling on my new decals. Decals. I'm a Canadian, so I'm gonna say decals from now on, so you know. I'll keep saying both, because every time I just say decals, all my wonderful American friends are like, Oh, I ain't so silly. What you talking about, trucker draw decals? It's a decal. I... <laughs> I get it. I get it. We can laugh together at me. I laugh at me. You laugh at me. We all laugh at me. That's why we're here on the channel, right? <clears throat> Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button below my video there so that we can all laugh at me together. That's why I'm here. I understand the lifestyle of a vlogger and a YouTube personality. I'm here for your viewing pleasure and your laughter. Deckles, that's how we pronounce it here in Manitoba, where I'm from anyways. So up here, we're getting cursive writing across the top there, just like I said, it's gonna say old blue, O-L apostrophe blue in cursive writing, it's gonna be beautiful. Right in this section here, there's gonna be a YouTube logo and my channel name, Trucker Josh Vlogs, beneath it. I was going to say something like, follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. And they sort of talk me out of it. They say, you know, sometimes less is more. And I agreed with them there. These guys are the professionals. I said, less is more. Your people are passing you on the highway. They don't have time to read a book. They don't have time to read a whole paragraph. They just, they want to see all the info all at once. Bam, in their face. Now they know who you are and where to find you, right? Just bam, instant. So a, a big YouTube logo, like right over here, Trucker Josh Vlogs. It's 2022 when I'm filming this, so people by now should know that a YouTube logo with the name Trucker Josh Vlogs should mean that they can find me on YouTube. 
So that'll be right in this section here between the window and the stack on both sides of the sleeper. Down here, I've got that chrome uh, keystone decal, right? It's that deck with just the uh, the chrome in it, uh, just the chrome outline. And then beneath it, I'm getting uh, getting it made. It's all going to be clean, by the way. The truck is filthy right now. It's going to say one million miles. Okay, that's uh, my one million mile award. That's supposed to let people around me on the highway feel more comfortable and safe with me beside them on the highway, knowing that hey, this guy's driven down the highway over one million miles safely. He knows what he's doing. It also helps people, uh, gives peace of mind to drivers at the truck stop when I pull in and I pull in front of them and I'm looking at the parking spot beside them, you know, humming and hawing over whether or not I want to park there or not. And the driver's sitting in his driver's seat, like, oh, I hope this guy knows what he's doing. I hope he doesn't take off my bumper. And he looks down at my sleeper and he says, hey, this guy's got over 1 million safe miles behind him. Good. He knows what he's doing. A little bit of peace of mind, right? So old blue up there. YouTube logo, Trucker Josh Vlogs there. One million miles there. And eventually, not this time, but the next time I go to order decals, we're gonna have Diesel, Chevy, Frank, and Wiener, our dogs, with like some paws around them or something up here, or maybe down here. And once the baby's born, I'm gonna get this done. Once the baby's born, we're not gonna tell you what the name is gonna be. We don't know what the gender's gonna be and we're not going to find out until it's born. We're leaving that as a surprise. I'm really excited that I'm really excited that Brit's on the same page as me on that. Uh, very few surprises in life nowadays, right? We're gonna leave that as a surprise. So we have a name picked out, whether it's a girl or if it's a boy. My opinion right now, I'm gonna say it publicly on the internet, and if I'm wrong, my child will never forgive me. But because uh, they're gonna watch this later, right? Probably it's 2022 right now, so probably 10 to 15 years from now, my son or my daughter is gonna be watching this video right now. How's it going guys? This is your younger dad talking and I think you're gonna be a girl. I think. I, I think it's gonna be a girl. I got this feeling. Both sides of the family, Brit's side of the family and my side of the family, all of the grandchildren, all the nieces, all the nephews, they're all boys. There's been no girl grandchildren on either side of the family for our parents. So the chances are there's two on one side, two on the other side, there's already four grandsons. Chances are I think it's gonna be a girl. So uh, we have a name picked out if it's a girl or if it's a boy. Either way, we don't mind. If, if you turned out to be a boy, my son, I'm proud of you. Uh, you're, you're old enough to understand what's going on here now. You're watching this video of your dad way in the past. And uh, you know, I bet whatever you're doing right now, I'm super proud of you. It doesn't matter if you came out a boy or a girl. But uh, you know, I'm going out on a limb here and saying, at this point, before, you, before you're born, you're only 13 weeks old inside your mother's womb right now. I think, I don't know, I, I think. We'll see if I'm right or wrong, okay? I'm gonna stick with this through the whole pregnancy. And if I'm wrong, hey, we can all laugh at me, right? That's cool. So whenever he or she is born, we're gonna put their name up here. So again, my daughter or my son watching this later on in life down the road, your name's gonna be on my truck. So everybody knows, everybody knows that's my boy, that's my girl. I'm so excited to meet you. That's such a long ways away yet, only 13 weeks pregnant. So, uh, I mean, there's, a, there's, a, there's quite a bit of time yet before we even get to meet you. I'm just, I'm already planning things out though, don't worry. You're gonna have an awesome life. We're gonna have lots of fun. You're gonna come for rides with me in the truck all the time. Your name's gonna be on the side. So that's gonna be up here somewhere. Baby name up here, dog names down here, somewhere on the, on the fairing, like that, right? We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Yes, we're gonna change the town name. I ordered proper uh, <laughs> proper spelling of the, that decal. It's supposed to be I-L-E, not I-L-S. Day is supposed to be a lowercase d, not uppercase, uppercase d. And there's supposed to be a little little accent, a French accent marker on top of the I and the E. I think it's this E, or is it that E? I'm not French, so I apologize to my French viewers, but we're gonna get the proper spelling of Ile de Chien on the side of my truck here. That's the town that we're uh, technically based out of. I mean, we're based out of Grand Point, which is just down the road, but I guess the mailing address is in Ile de Chien, so legally we're out of Ile de Chien. It means Island of Oaks in French. That's gonna stay the same. I'm not gonna touch that. Unit number 
up at the front here, I'm not going to touch it right now. Even though it's crooked. But uh, the decal guys, and uh, actually a lady, the decal lady who was uh, taking notes of everything I want to do to this truck, uh, she, she mentioned to me, you know, you're the only one that's going to notice that, Josh. No one else is going to notice that. So, okay. Okay. We're going to be spending quite a bit of money on these here already. She promised me it'd be under $1,000. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yes, and also Britt's name is going here. I haven't told her yet as of filming this. She said that I should put Diesel's name here because he's my passenger more often. But, you know... Lately, he's been at home more than he's been on the road. He's getting old, and uh, I can't take him with me as much anymore because of physical reasons and stuff. He's still healthy, don't worry. But So this is going to be Britt's name here. I think I want my wife's name on my passenger door. So I, I made an executive decision, and I hope I don't get in trouble for it later. Britt, B-R-I-T, right there. And on the driver's side, you guessed it. Josh. I thought of putting the whole Trucker Josh on here, but you know what? I'm just going to put Josh because Trucker Josh is already going to be right here, right? It's going to be a YouTube logo and it's going to say Trucker Josh Vlogs. So here yeah, I figured I'll just put, I'm Josh. Like when you meet me on the road, if you see me, you come shake my hand. I'd love to meet you. You don't have to call me Trucker Josh. I'm, my name is Josh, Joshua, if you want to be official and formal. But Joshua Josh, that, that's my name. Believe it or not, my actual name is not Trucker Josh. That is not on my birth certificate. That would be funny if it was. But uh, Josh, up there. YouTube right here, Trucker Josh Vlogs. That's to let people know, hey, follow me on Trucker, follow me on YouTube. Subscribe to me. Let's be friends. Up there again, old blue. And here would be the one million miles. And eventually here, once the baby's born, there will be uh, our dog's names and a special decal just for our baby name. I can't wait. I thought of maybe putting something on the back here, like maybe a nice wrap around this headache rack, like a nice Canada flag or something. Like, yeah, something. No. Springtime, I'm going to take this to get polished, and it's going to be like a mirror. I don't want any decals on there. I'll just leave it like that. And that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So now I've got a few more errands to run, and then I'm going to come back and uh, give Old Blue a bath. So I don't actually have to park this far away from the door. I just parked as far back as I could, so because I want to put that, that line back there as far back as, you know, just in case I want to work on the truck and I want to open the hood and still be able to walk around the front. I won't usually park it this far back. Back here it's a little bit, uh, you know, it's close. Kind of stuffy back here. That garden hose usually isn't there. Uh, that's just, you know, like I said, I'm going to give her a bath right away. Him, him, her, here, here, her, here, ha, huh, they. going to give them a bath. It's 2022. I have no idea what to say. It's very nice to have you back in the shop. Uh, if you guys see up here, you notice my new mirrors are on and the lights work. They're not LED lights, though. That's the mirrors I bought, so it's my fault. I'm going to replace those bulbs with LED lights yet. But for now, hey, more lights the better. That's my motto. Just made it up right now. So when we got this couch, it arrived damaged. The frame underneath this part of the couch was bent. It had obviously been dropped. And it took, what, three months? Yep. Three months of them trying to schedule an appointment to repair it. And I'm honestly surprised that it actually got repaired correctly the first time because the only time they would come here to Steinbeck to repair it under warranty was Tuesdays during the day. And we both work. Or I work all week usually. And Britt was always at work on Tuesdays as well. So Tuesdays just didn't work for us. So we had to keep rescheduling, rescheduling until finally Britt just had the day off and was able to be home three months later. I just found it, and they were a little snotty about it too when I was talking to them. Uh, they wanted to, I wanted them to come on a better day, either like maybe a weekend, and I was sort of arguing with them saying, hey, it's, it's not our fault we ordered broken furniture. It should have arrived in good working order, right? But it didn't. 
and I was kind of frustrated that they would only come on Tuesdays during the day. What a weird time. So we had to take off work and lose income so that they could come and fix a problem that shouldn't have been there in the first place. But I'm just complaining. It's fixed now. I forgive them. This is my spot anyways. No one even sits over there, but I just didn't, like we paid, I don't know, $4,200, $4,500 $4, or so for this couch, Canadian. And I wanted one that worked. Mm -hmm. I cross stitch over there. Thank you very much. Yeah, she's got this crochet thing going on. I'm not crocheting. <laughs> <laughs> it's cross stitch. <laughs> it's just, just bugger about that. This is gonna be a stocking, right? A Christmas stocking for our baby. Yeah, there's a picture on the package. I just don't want to move it. Okay, it's gonna look like that. It's amazing what you can do with this cross stitch stuff. And it is definitely not crocheting. Or macrame. Or macrame. <laughs> Don't call it macrame. I hate macrame. That's why you keep calling it that. My little old lady project. Mm. I bought that two winter, two Christmases ago, hoping that we'd have a baby. Because I always wanted a stocking like that when I was growing up. So mm. now our baby's going to have one. Chevy, you want to tell them about the incident last night? There was a, there was a demon squirrel. Was it a demon? There was a cat hiding between our house and the neighbor's house, like within our fence, uh, just in a dark corner last night. And Big Frank down there found him first. Scouted him out. Chased him out into the yard and the other dogs just went nuts. It really bothers me when people in town here, it happens quite often, they just let their indoor cats outside to roam around the entire town and spray and poop all over other people's yards. So the, the cat ended up inside our fence. So to me, that's fair game. The dogs want to chase it out of the yard, that's what they're here for. Wrong yard, wrong day, buddy. And Diesel <laughs> took his mission very seriously. <laughs> Wiener went and hide, hid. Yeah. yeah. He hid by the door. Chevy chased the cat, but then the cat stopped, turned around, arched its back like cats do, and he didn't know what to do. He got He's, scared. He just sat there staring at it. And then when I came around the corner, the cat lunged at Chevy, doing the whole... <laughs> The paw thing. I wasn't there. I heard the scuffle, but I was in bed. And he launched a Chevy. Chevy was just... I was very upset. And Traumatized. D Diesel got on the tail of that cat and chased it literally onto the neighbor's roof. That's the last place I saw it. Run, running across the neighbor's roof. I don't think he'll be back to visit. I hope not. But Brett has reached a milestone with the pregnancy. Three months. Thirteen weeks. We're in trimester two. We made it. And your nausea is pretty much, pretty much gone. Yeah, my morning sickness is pretty much dissipated. Now I've just got extreme nasal congestion, especially at night, and uh, cramping because I guess my hips and pelvis are starting to separate a little bit. So that means six more months, right? Yeah. And the baby will be well, here, approximately. Over six months, but over yeah, six months. It's oh, closer yeah. to ten months than than nine. What is it? It's September uh, 22nd when I'm filming this? 23rd? 23rd. I think it's 23rd. And 24th. Uh, 24th already. September 24th. Man, I've been off work for too long. I go back to work tomorrow. So half September, then October, November, December, January, February, March. Six full months and a little bit, and it's due. But six months, two weeks. Six months and eight days. Mm -hmm. Is my due date. So that's how long I have to get that office stuff, all of my desk and monitor and everything over to the shop and get it set up over there and turn that room into a nursery. You already know what you want in there? Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna go with a nice blue on the mm -hmm. accent wall, shiplap wall, just nice. Like kind of like a grayish blue, like a denim blue mm -hmm. almost. All the way around or? No, just one wall. That'd oh, be way okay. too much, that'd be too dark for one room. And then either like, I'm thinking probably like a nice beige, or maybe just white, no, or a light gray, probably a light gray for the rest of the walls, okay. and then white trim, very clean looking. Mm-hmm, that'll be good for a boy or a girl. Yeah, I like blue. Okay, blue is my favorite color too. Yeah, pretty sure it's a girl though, we're still pretty sure. Mm -hmm. I was telling them earlier in this vlog actually at the shop, I think it's gonna be a girl, 
but our kids going to be watching this in like 10 15 years when they understand what's going on and understand our videos and uh if it's a boy <laughs> you thought i was a girl the whole time we thought you were going to be a girl but we do have a boy's <laughs> name picked out just in case yeah it doesn't matter no boy or gosh, girl i don't care i'll be happy either way just as happy either way. We're, just, we're just having fun trying to guess because we don't want to find out the gender till you're actually born in here in the world so for now we're just taking a, a stab in the dark and saying we think it's going to be a girl because there's already so many boys in the family but if you uh if you're a boy that that's that's awesome that's awesome too so far there's only been two people that have guessed boy two yeah. of my co-workers okay other than that every single other person has said girl okay so if got a 50 percent chance of being right if you come out a boy well a lot of people are wrong <laughs> we were wrong about you <laughs> that's okay doesn't matter no they thought you were a girl they did yes if you did turn out to be a boy don't worry they did the same thing with me everyone thought i was going to be a girl and then you were born on april fools and here i am your dad pretty hairy girl hairy <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway so uh we're home until or i'm home until sunday evening and then i head out to carmen manitoba sunday evening yeah i got a load first thing monday morning oh you didn't tell me that mm-hmm i asked him today he said tomorrow he was leaving yeah tomorrow sunday today's sunday no today's saturday today's saturday mm-hmm all the days just run together. I don't know my days anymore. <laughs> We're going to be doing five loads from Carmen to uh, Wapton, North Dakota. I think that's how you pronounce it. Wapton. Wapton. W A P H T O N, I think. It's about a four and a half hour ride, anyways, and then back. So we'll go get loaded first thing in the morning, run down there, unload, run back, do that five times, Monday to Friday, and then. Those two snuggle every single day. All day. Little old men. Couple of old wieners. There's only one wiener over here. I well, don't know what this other one is. He stinks. <laughs> I didn't know. It. He's fast asleep. Where's Diesel? Diesel! Over here. On this side. Diesel, Diesel come here. He come here. Come say hi to everybody real quick. Hello. Hello. Hey, you got anything to add? Anything at all? Let me have a nap right here, I think. Nap number six of the day. <laughs> it's about lunch, I think. Nap number six. After all those carrots and that cheese. How to digest. So thanks for watching. We have possibly one more home time video yet, and then we'll be back to trucking. And you got some baby, baby vlogs coming in the future. Give it, give it about six months. Maybe in a week or two we can start using our at-home Doppler. Oh, and we can hear the heartbeat at home here. I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm.